Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to another video where we are going to discuss output related JavaScript questions which is basically a continuation of the part 1. So if you have not watched the part 1, I will put the link in the description box, go check that out. But part 2 is completely independent of part 1. So without wasting any, any further time, let's go to our code runner and check all the questions that I have planned for this video. But before that, you know the drill. If you like the video at the end, do hit the like button and subscribe button as well so that you can watch all my content on time. So let's go to our code runner. Okay, so first thing first, from this video onwards, I have decided that I'm going to keep only two or maximum three questions per video so that you can watch all the content and one go and you are done with the content. Um, let me know in the comment section how do you think uh, which, which, which thing is much comfortable for you like five to six questions per video which is uh, like a longer video or two to three questions which is going to be the shorter video which is more comfortable for you let me know in the comment section below so now let's get started so uh, first question is let's say I have array one and this is the name and I'm going to split it and you guys know what split does it will convert your string into an array now I took array 2 and I reversed the array 1 this is the inbuilt method in JavaScript which reverses the array basically so and then you have array 3 and it takes John's which is some other name and you split it Finally, you pushed array 3 into array 2. So, what is going to be the console log, the length of array 1? If you, if you guys want to pause this video, you can pause it right here and try to crack it down by yourself. Uh, otherwise, we'll continue. So, array 1 dot length. So, what do you think is going to be the array 1? It's going to be J, O, H and N. Like this array. Right? And array 1 dot reverse. What does it does? Reverse basically reverses the array. Right? So, if array 1 is um, J, O, H, N. Then, array 2 is going to be N, H, O, J. It's basically reverses the array. But reverse basically does two things which is very very important to crack this down. The first thing is that reverse will actually be applying all the changes on the actual array itself. So if you are reversing it and saving its reference to array 2 then array 1 which you are actually reversing will also get reversed. So now array 1 will also be NHOJ and not J O H N. So this is the first thing and the second thing is create if you are saving the result of reverse into something array 2 then it's not the actual copy of the array rather than it's just the reference to this array 1 that you have reversed in place right. So you have reversed it in place and provided another reference to this same object which is an array. So now array 1 and array 2 are basically same. They are referencing to the same object. So these two things are very very important to understand here. And finally this is simple that you created like J O N E S. This will be an array of 5 characters array 3. And finally what you are doing is you are array 2 dot push array 3. So what is going to be that? So array 2 is now N H O J. And now you are pushing array 3 into it. So what is going to get pushed here? Um, it's not going to be like J O N E S. Rather it's going to be an array. So array of J O N E S. So that's basically N H O J. And then array of this J O N E S. And don't forget that array 2 and array 1 are same they are just referencing to the same memory location so if you are changing anything in array 2 array 1 is also going to get changed so this will be this will be here as well and now if you will console log the length of array ideally it has to be n h o j and particularly this uh, item in the array that's one the entire Jones array so the 5 is going to be the answer 
so if we console log it it's going to be 5 so the main caveat here is that reverse reverses in place it reverses the actual array itself and then just save its reference um, into some other variable but that variable is referencing to the same array back the other thing that interview can ask you uh, is array one dot slice minus one so slice basically creates an entire copy of this array and will return that same back to you but now if you want to just do minus one so minus one actually just returns you the last item of this array so what is the last item of this array n h o j this is the last item of an array so if you try to console log this you'll get j o n e s this is the last item of an array um, the other thing that can also be asked is console log array 2 dot length by now you know the drill that array 1 and array 2 are same so no matter what you do they are going to give you the same result similarly if you want to console log array 2 dot slice and get the last item from that array it's going to be exactly same as what you have returned from array 1 so i hope this question is clear very very important concept to understand how inbuilt utilities actually work so do prepare this question before going to your interview let's move on to the second one in this video there will be just two questions so second is the last question okay so i have written down four console log statements here and we if you again want to pause this video and try to crack it down feel free to do that let me know if you successfully are able to track it down but we'll go ahead continue with this video the first one is console log um, 0 or 1 so you know 0 is by default a falsy value and 1 is truthy and or refers to if any of the statements on left or right of the or operator if any of the statement is true it's going to return true you know that so 0 is false 1 is true ideally the value is going to be 1 so let's run it the one value is 1 let's go to second one so 1 or 2 both of them are true so it's going to return 1 that's right the third one is 0 and 1 and you know in and both of these values has to be truthy but 0 you know is false so if 0 is false it's not going to proceed further it's going to return falsy from here itself so it's going to return 0 right here but if you come here and you do 1 and basically 2 here if you do 1 and 2 so both of them are going to be the truthy value so what is going to be the return it's going to return 2 why because you might not know this but and statement like the and operator return the value itself so it goes to 1 it check whether 1 is truthy yes it's truthy then it falls back to another one to check if this is truthy as well and it says yes it's truthy and then it return the value itself so um i know that you guys must be confused with this because this is something which is important and that's how actually um the inner concepts of javascript works so one and two so if you do anything here it is going to return the value from there and 10 is definitely has some value so it's truthy so that's why anytime you do one and two both of the values are true you can use them as true because 10 is also considered as true but this is something that i wanted to let you know because the first three i think very easy for you guys maybe that you are able to crack it down but the whole concept of asking this question was uh, because of the fourth console log so i hope that that is clear to you and that's it that's the end of this video if you like the questions if you like the content do hit the like button and subscribe button as well i'll see you soon in my next video thank you so much for watching